For the last three decades, Robert Keeter's Thanksgiving plans have been set. This year is no different as he and St. Peter's Catholic Church and First Baptist Church prepare for the annual interfaith Thanksgiving dinner. I was given a hot meal by strangers when I was seven years old. And that's where it all began for me as far as engaging. Keeter's mother died at an early age and his father couldn't take care of the family, so Robert and his three brothers were placed in an orphanage. It was there where Robert first volunteered to serve the homeless and hungry. I knew that that was something that I was probably going to be tested to do the rest of my life. St. Peter serves meals to the hungry the fourth Saturday of every month, but it's this time of the year that Keeter really looks forward to. I almost feel like I'm a little child underneath the Christmas tree. Um, really enthusiastic and, and giddy about it all, but, but, so, but really you know, knowing that we're touching the hearts and the minds of thousands and thousands and thousands of people the last 32 years. He hopes that people won't just think of the homeless and hungry this time of the year, but will be willing to help anytime. Hopefully we make a, we're making a, a, a dent in the great needs that we all see but sometimes forget about. And uh, we're here to, to shake the bushes a little bit, get people back into the idea of doing something for someone before you leave this earth. In Columbia, Daniel Bonds, News 19, WLTX.